What's going on guys, Austin here. Uh, we got our real estate license exam uh, about an hour and a half at 8.30 or 8 o'clock in the morning. Um, it's currently 6.30. Uh, we're doing some studying right now. Um, this is my third and final attempt. As you guys know, I've told you guys you only get three attempts um, until you have to uh, take another 30 hour class um, in order to kind of requalify yourself um, to taking another exam. So definitely don't want to do that. Um, but I'm, I'd say I'm pretty confident. I, I've been taking these mock exams over and over and over again. I'm getting a 93, which was my recent score. So I'm pretty confident. And I just can't wait to start this whole real estate journey with you guys, you know, raw footage, um, you know, where I start, how I make my first buck, um, and just kind of the ins and outs of, uh, of this stuff and straight up hustling. A uh, little bit of a uh, downer, currently in a boot. And there's, you know, there's Bella. But yeah, currently in a boot right now because last Monday, what's today, Saturday, this past Monday, I was playing basketball and I went up for a jump shot and this guy was riding my grill and uh, I came down, landed on his foot, completely turned my ankle. Um, so it's just a really bad sprain. Going to a doctor tomorrow, or a specialist, a podiatrist tomorrow. They're going to look at it. It's all purple and stuff, man. It kind of sucks. I can walk on the boot. Um, but, yeah, it still still kind of hurts. Um, lots of jobs planned this uh, in the next couple of days. It looks like we have a winter storm coming uh, on Wednesday, and it'll probably last for five days. I don't know. You guys up in the north will feel, feel it a lot more than we will, but shit in Texas, it's going to get down to the 20s. I'm in 30s, which is like, blah. It's like, damn, I got to freaking uh, winterize my stuff again. Um, but that's just things you got to do, man. Things you got to do. But we got, uh, oh, man, guys, we got like three or four jobs in the next couple of days. So definitely going to need some help. Um, so that'll be interesting. I'll get some cool footage for you guys on Monday. We got a really cool um kind of stone house that we're gonna clean. It's got black mold all over it, pool, decking, driveway. It's gonna be a nice big job, nice big ticket on that one. So anyway, guys, I will fill you in after the test. We've got about an hour and a half. I need to get some studying in and uh, let's get this passed. Okay, guys, we're here. Pearson View Testing Center. It's the final showdown. Attempt number three. Let's get it. What's going on guys? As you can tell from the type of day, it is much, much later than uh, where we were this morning, about eight o'clock this morning, I went in to do my real estate exam and it is now eight o'clock, 8.30 8 um, at nighttime and uh, Obviously, we did not pass the test. I spent most of the day pretty frustrated and upset at myself. You know, I studied so hard and I took the final exam three freaking times and I failed every single time. Um, I did, however, however, pass the state portion, um, but I did fail the national portion, which is the 80 question portion of the test. <sighs> I spent most of the day just really frustrated and upset. I uh, just, I was in a really rock bottom place this morning you know i just i really wanted that license i have you know things lined up i have you know meetings with brokers that i you know i'm so eager to get into this freaking business you guys and it just sucks that i've put so much time effort and uh frankly money I spent a thousand dollars just to sign up for the damn course and now i gotta pay for another course um to requalify I, th I need to take a 30 hour course class in order to requalify myself to take the exam again oh man so frustrating um but you know i'm just blessed that i have awesome friends in my life best friends in my life and i have you know family that supports me uh funny enough my my, my whole family's in the real estate business my uncle owns one of, one of the most successful brokerages in austin they do 100 million dollars a year in sales my dad owns a property management company and my mom is uh owns a really successful brokerage herself and my dad failed the real estate exam three times 
my uh, my uncle failed uh, the real estate exam a couple times. Uh, my mom is a good student, but I guess I got my I got my dad's genetics. We're not really book smart at all. I've never I never did well in school. I had to drop out of high school my junior year because I was so far behind. I had to finish online. Uh, and there's no possible way I could do college either. It just doesn't articulate in my head to retain that kind of information. Um, not a book smart dude. Um, but look, I got awesome friends and family in my life that are motivating me. They kind of lifted me up and uh, they put me back on my horse. And as I'm sitting there kind of down on myself, I... <laughs> I get a text message from one of the guys that uh, I went door to door a couple videos ago, and I uh, I talked to him. If you go back, as one of the it was the guy as the neighbor of the dude that I cleaned the house uh, for. And I was talking to the neighbor, and I was like, "Hey, look, I, I clean your neighbor's house. Yada 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 yada." He wants me to come out there and clean his roof, and we negotiated a price on that. And then a couple and about 15 minutes later, I got a couple uh, Facebook message. So in the next uh, what's today uh, Saturday. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I got $2,700 worth of work lined up. <sighs> Guys, it's awesome. It's awesome how God works, man. So I'm back on my horse. We're going to get this freaking 30-hour class done. Uh, more pressure washing videos to come. We got a couple. Uh, Monday is going to be a big one. We got that, uh, that roof job on Tuesday. Uh, tomorrow we're doing uh, a real estate office. We're also going to be washing uh, a house uh, for this person that's trying to sell the home. So uh, we're going to have some more videos coming up. But hey, look, if you're down, if you don't got any work coming in, just stay after it, brother. Wash on.